From the Lakeville Government Channel 16 studios in downtown Lakeville, this is Ask Mystery with, uh, 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 what's his name again? <laughs> oh yeah, cue music with Mr. E. Greetings everyone and welcome to another edition of Ask Mr. E. I'm Mr. E, the world's greatest puppet detective and as in every episode of Ask Mr. E, this segment is written, <coughs> produced, <coughs> Directed, <laughs> starred, and flossed by me, Mr. E. <laughs> hey, we got a great segment for you this month because we're talking about Frog Loops. That's right, Frog Loops. It's that great new cereal from a local... What's that? We're not talking about Frog Loops? Really, I, I really like breakfast cereal. Really like to try Frog Loops. Not having Frog Loops? <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me down gently. What are we talking about today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I, can we actually say that on TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, folks, believe it or not, today we are gonna be talking about dog poop. Yeah. That's right, there's a big problem of dog poop in our area parks. And I happen to get Skyped by a friend of mine who will give us our first Skype right here. Hi, Mr. Reed. My name is Nicholas Otto in Lakeville. Why is there so much poop in the Lakeville parks? Ah! Well, thank you so much for your question, Nicholas Otto. And it just so happens that I, Mr. Reed, know somebody who can help us discover what this problem is. So now I, Mr. Reed, I'm going to make this an official case. We're going to find out why there's so much dog poop in the park. This way. Uh, how about this way? I decided to give my good friend Brett Altergott a call. Brett is the Park and Rec Director here with the City of Lakeville. I explained my situation to Brett regarding Nicholas's question about dog poop in the park. He agreed that it was an important subject. I then asked if we could meet to discuss the situation, and Brett said, Who is this? We decided to meet at Mashad Park. We exchanged a few pleasantries upon meeting, and then I got right to my questions. Okay, Brett, what is this big issue about dog poop in the park? Well, the issue really is, by ordinance, people are supposed to pick it up, and it's not being picked up, and therefore it also causes some health concerns. Kids are out here, families out here playing, and they're stepping off the trail and getting it in their shoes, which then goes into their homes. Uh, a lot of times we find it also in the athletic fields, which, you know, can you imagine playing soccer or football or something like that and then having to fall into dog poop? Very good. Now, Brett, what can we do to prevent this? Well, what people can do is when they're out, carry bags with them to pick up the dog poop. And, you know, just like this here, we have these available at City Hall. Huh, what is that? It, it attaches, it's, it's, a, it's a roll of bags here. Nice, and it's shaped like a dog bone in the back here. Yeah. But it attaches to a person's leash, so that way it's always with them. They don't have to remember to take bags of, you know, like a plastic Ziploc bag with them. They're available. They can tie it off and then throw it in a garbage can for us, and it'll be much, much more environmentally friendly and also much more enjoyable for all park users if people were to pick up the dog poop. I love it. As I waved goodbye to Brett, I still felt there was a little bit of a puzzle that still needed to be completed. I went back to the office and I decided to give Ann Messerschmidt a call. Ann is the environmental resources specialist here with the city of Lakeville. I asked if she could meet with me to discuss this problem and Ann said, What? Poop? I met Ann at a nearby pond. Once again, we exchanged a few pleasantries and then I got right to my questions. Okay, Ann, my question for you is how does dog poop affect our nature environment like ponds and streams? Well, dog poop has a lot of microorganisms and bacteria in it, like 23 million per like teaspoon of feces. So how many? 23 million. And that's all bad stuff, it's right? It's all bad stuff. So when it rains or the snow melts, it kind of goes into the water bodies and it can pollute them. So you can have high fecal and you can cause E. coli outbreaks. You can have algae outbreaks where it, the pond will just get full of algae. It's really not good for the water. You gotta keep it far away from the water. And do you happen to have something special that you can use to pick up that dog poop with? Hmm? Yeah, at City Hall, we actually have these really handy dandy little 
bag dispensers, so inside is biodegradable bags, and then you can either pull them from the bottom or from the side. You can pick them up at the front desk at City Hall, or we give them away at our watershed cleanup day and whatnot. Um, if you license your dog, you get to pick them up there. And it's just a really great thing that we're able to do for residents, so to help reduce that feces into the water. As I waved goodbye to Ann and thought about what I had talked about with Brett, I now realized that I, Mr. Ree, the world's greatest puppet detective, was going to do everything he could do to help get rid of this dog poop problem here in the city of Lakeville. Well, folks, that's it for another edition of Ask Mr. Ree. Hey, it's great that we were able to solve this problem from our friend Nicholas Otto. So I, Mr. Ree, the world's greatest puppet detective, officially declare this case closed. <laughs> we'll see you next time, folks, on Ask Mr. Ree.